Yo everybody, welcome back to the Juicy Vapor channel. We're going to do a mod review of uh, something that looks pretty cool. It's the Emek by Dovepo or Dovepo Transformers, more than meets the eye. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to try to pronounce it. Emek by Dovepo. Um, I had a uh, coupon. <laughs> I had a coupon. Um, I had a certificate to redeem on eBay and I found this little guy and I just knew that I had to have it. Um, you, when you find something like that and unique, if you're like me, I, you just go out and grab it and I, I spent my coupon, my certificate, redeemed it and got this here from a seller on eBay. Pretty cool. Um, I'm not going to do like a full-on thing just in the interest of keeping you guys uh, interested and not lagging on. Um, when I opened the box, of course, I pulled everything out. It came with two of these little dripper tips right there. Um, pretty cool. Got some little colors going on there. Of course, it came with uh, the user manual and then there's the, uh, the uh, warranty on there. It also came with some pretty cool little Transformer uh, stickers. I thought that was pretty cool. Um, okay, let me get this stuff boxed back in. It also comes with the USB cable, so if you want to hook it up and charge it, you can do that. Um, okay, so about the unit itself. Give you one more view over here. It's got this little ring on top, this little skirting. It uh, allows you to put on different types of tanks. I'm going to go ahead and put that back on there. Uh, it takes a normal... It did not come with a tank in the box, by the way. Uh, but you can use any normal 22 diameter 510 thread tanks. And I have my Arctic tank right here. And it has a 0.5 ohm coil in there. The one negative I think that I had about this thing was that when you put that tank on, because of that little skirting, it raises it up about an inch or so, and the Arctic tank is already kind of tall on its own. Um, there you go. I'm going to turn on the screen, hit the fire button. There you go. When you turn that on up in the top there, it'll tell you your ohms. You can set it in wattage or volt mode, uh, and... What I've been running is a 0.5. I've noticed that it'll take everything from a 0.3 to a 0.5 as far as the ohm coils. I tried uh, my mutation. Uh, I tried two of them. I have one that's built at a 0.2, and then I have another one that's built at a 0.3. Now, the 0.3 did work, and it was a single twisted coil. And uh, so I, I used that on here, and it worked pretty well. But I did go ahead and order a, a mini for the top here, um, just so I can cut an inch off there, uh, which is pretty cool. Let me turn it around real quick. Uh, these two back levers right there, if you pop those off, it takes two 18650 batteries. I'm running uh, EFES batteries in there, which are 3000 ma and 40 amp high drain. Um, having said that, up at the top there, you'll see a little LED. It has an LED flashlight. On the screen itself, it does have kind of a calendar and a time thing going on. Uh, by the way, it's worth mentioning this is the version 4. The version 1's, version 2's didn't really... This one's still wobbly, and I think part of it's because of that top heavy tank. Uh, but the other one just was really... The version 1, version 2, are, they really fell over a lot easier. Um... Okay, so, yeah, you when you go through here, it's a pretty easy setup. Um, you can, again, run in volts or watts. I run it in watts on mine, and it goes up to 30 watts. Anything from a 0.3 to a 0.5 on your sub-ohm will work fine. Um, like I said, the only kind of negative for me was it had that skirting on there. And if you take that skirting on it'll and you plug it into the 510, it'll, you'll just see the other different uh, threads down below and I think they did that so that you could use it with multiple style tanks uh, but it was again like I said pretty cool 
Uh, I'm going to put all the spec text down below. Um, if you'll like and subscribe, I'd really appreciate you coming on here to the Juicy Vapor channel. And uh, keep coming back. We're going to uh, do some more reviews coming up soon here. So let's go ahead and, and take a little, uh, a little vape on it and see how it does. It's not too bad, huh? And I'm running strawberry in there is what I got. My uh, DIY strawberry that I made. Uh, let's try one more. Not too shabby. It's time to charge it up. I've been playing with this pretty good. Um, hey, anyway, again, thanks for stopping by. Let's get you guys on your way. Please please come back and, and check out our other reviews, all right? Having said that, let's exit on out the proper way. Later.